Hello and welcome to Aeronaut Training Center. In this video we are going to learn about air conditioning system in aircrafts. We will take Boeing 737NG system as examples. The air conditioning system in aircraft is made up of massive interfaces and mechanisms that control the interior environment of aircraft for passengers, flight crew and electronic equipment. In this lesson we are going to cover a basic explanation of how most of these systems operate and how does the flight crew control them. The air conditioning system performs the following functions. It produces fresh conditioned airflow for air pressurization and ventilation by processing bleed air from engines, APU or a ground source in air conditioning packs. It controls the flight compartment and passenger cabin temperatures. It recirculates around 50% of cabin air for ventilation purposes, which helps in reducing load on air conditioning packs. It also helps in removing unpleasant air from lavatories and galleys. For air conditioning purposes, the 737NG cabin is divided into three zones. Control cabin, also known as flight deck, forward passenger compartment, and aft passenger compartment. As previously mentioned, conditioned air may come from either of the following sources. The two air conditioning packs, ground supplied preconditioned air, and recirculation system. Conditioned air from left pack upstream of mixed manifold flows directly to the flight deck. This is to ensure a constant supply of fresh air to the flight deck and no contaminated air is inhaled by pilots. Excess air from left pack, air from right pack and air from the recirculation system is combined in main distribution manifold, also known as mixed manifold. Mixed manifold act as a giant pool that collects conditioned air from all sources and supplies it to the respective cabin section that require air conditioning. The mixed air is distributed through the left and right sidewall risers to the passenger cabin. Let's see what actually air conditioning packs are. The word pack is actually an acronym for pressurization and air conditioning kit. There are two packs on 737NG which are small air compressor that take bleed air from the engines, after which the air is cooled, filtered and delivered to the flight deck and forward and aft passenger cabins for temperature control. Bleed air is discussed in separate video of pneumatic systems bleed air lesson, but basically it is highly compressed high temperature, high pressure air that is extracted from the 5th and ninth stages of engine compressor for pneumatic power. Both packs form part of cooling process which performs the following functions. It regulates bleed air demand from pneumatic manifold toward the air conditioning packs, removes excessive heat from air entering the packs and controls the temperature and humidity level of air that exit the packs. The flow of bleed air from main bleed air duct through each air conditioning pack is controlled by a respective pack well. Normally the left pack uses bleed air from engine number 1 and the right pack uses bleed air from engine number 2. A single pack in high flow is capable of maintaining pressurization or cabin altitude up to 8000 feet and acceptable temperature throughout the airplane up to maximum certified ceiling of 41000 feet. The APU is capable of supplying bleed air for two packs on ground or one pack in flight. Most external air carts are capable of supplying adequate bleed air for two pack operation. Do not operate more than one pack from one engine. The connection for the ground pneumatic cart is to the right side of the isolation valve. Moving on, bleed air passes through a flow control valve that regulates bleed air flow according to pack demand. The flow valve is controlled by air conditioning pack switches in the forward overhead panel. There is one switch per engine and both have the following positions. Off, Auto, and high. The pack valves are spring loaded to closed and will only open if the pack switches in auto or high and if pneumatic air is available. If pneumatic air is not available and the switches are in auto or high position, the valve remain closed. The operation logic is simple. When both packs are operative and their switches are in auto position, the packs provide normal airflow. However, 
with one pack not operating, the other pack automatically switches to high airflow in order to maintain the necessary conditioned air and ventilation rate. This protection mechanism is only available during flight when trailing edge flaps are in up position and is inhibited when the aircraft is on ground or in flight with flaps extended. This is to ensure adequate engine power for single engine operation. Similarly, like in case of a bleed soft takeoff, where both engine bleed switches are off and the APU is supplying pneumatic power, the pack delivers high airflow regardless of flap position, ground air status, or number of packs operating. I would try to explain the bleed soft takeoff procedure in detail in a separate video. Moving on, after the flow control stage, air passes through a heat exchanger where ram air cools down the bleed air. Ram air is external dynamic air that enters the aircraft through a ram air inlet door. When the aircraft is moving slowly such as during slow flight with flaps not fully retracted, low air density or ground operations, the ram air inlet door opens to its fully open position to maximize air intake. When this occurs, a ram door full open light illuminates in blue color in the forward overhead panel. Under normal circumstances, the door automatically varies between open and close position. Deflector doors are installed forward of the ram air inlet doors to prevent slush ingestion prior to lift off and after touchdown. Deflector doors are extended when activated electrically by the air ground safety sensors. Once the initial heat exchanging has taken place, air passes through air cycle machine that compresses, refrigerates and sends the air to a second heat exchanger that also cools down the compressed air with the use of ram air. Afterwards, compressed cool air passes through two more heat exchangers which lower its temperature enough to produce condensation. This is followed by a water separator which removes moisture. Water extraction ducts where water in the air stream is condensed and falls into a sump where it is drained. It is important to keep air free from moisture to minimize the risk of icing at low temperatures. All the collected water from air conditioning pack water extractor is ducted and sprayed into ram air inlet so that by evaporation the ram air steam becomes cooler and therefore more efficient in heat exchange process. The air is also passed through reheater. This raises the temperature of now dry air. After the reheater, the air enters the turbine of air cycle machine where it rapidly expands while driving the compressor and ram air fan. This produces very cold air. Overheat protection is provided by temperature sensors located in the cooling cycle. An overheat condition causes the pack valve to close and the associated pack trip of light to eliminate. And there is also a master caution and an air conditioning system enunciator. The air conditioning pack uses principle of energy conversion and surface heat exchangers for its cooling operation. The heart of the system is the air cycle machine. The air cycle machine is a three wheel unit which decreases air temperature by expansion through a turbine. The air cycle machine is a high speed rotating assembly. It has three sections connected by a common shaft. The turbine section rapidly expands the air causing a large drop in temperature. This process is made more efficient by loading the turbine with a compressor and an impeller fan. The compressor causes a pressure rise and the impeller fan moves air through the ram air system when the aircraft is stationary or at low speed. Once the air has passed through all these stages, it has already been conditioned, cooled and is now ready for distribution into the aircraft zones. From the packs to the main distribution or mix manifold, a valve open to allow the conditioned air to flow in that direction. For further explanation of air conditioning system of Boeing 737, please stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. I will try to publish the second part of this video very soon. Thank you for watching video and being with ATC. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to receive more future notifications and updates. If you enjoyed this video then please hit the like button and also share the channel and videos to your friends and groups. Comment down below if you have any doubt or query or you can also email me at aeronaut.tc at the gmail.com. For more updates, discussions and study materials which is of course free, please like our Facebook page with the same name Aeronaut Training Center. We are also going to launch our ground classes for Boeing 737. Airbus 320 pre and post type rating courses with simulator trainings and also ground classes for all CPL subjects with entirely different teaching methods never seen or experienced before only at Ramphal Chok Dwarka, New Delhi. Happy landings!